So today we're gonna to turn an aluminum muffin like this into this pulley. I've got a long arm sewing machine and I need a new pulley for it. And this is a 2L belt, which is a quarter inch at the top. And I'm having trouble finding a pulley that'll fit it because I need a quarter inch up here and then I need a, a eight millimeter drive. So I'm just gonna make one real quick. All right, let's get started. I got my muffin clamped in the three jaw chuck and I'm gonna get this first part done so I can get it into a collet chuck. I've switched over to this insert that's made for aluminum. It's actually much sharper, like you could cut yourself with the end of that. And it should put a better finish on here. We'll see. I've got it flipped around in a collet chuck now. And I'm back to my roughing tool. And I'm gonna get it knocked down to where it needs to be. tool in here and I'm going to go to the bottom of the V group. Now I'm going to cut the first side of the groove. Still got clearance at the bottom of the V groove, probably hundred thousandths or something. I think that's going to work well. I just got to get it bored out. Right, I'm setting up to put in the set screw. All right, now we're going to tap this at 1024, and I'm using uh, Magic Tap alumina Aluminum. You don't want to use the regular Magic Tap, because I don't know what happens, but some kind of chemical reaction happens, and it, your tap will try to get stuck. And then I'm going to do another one at roughly 90 degrees to that one. Okay, that's got it done. As you can see there, it fits this belt. It's going to do a good job there. It, there's a little porosity in this aluminum. You know, I was just pouring up ingots. Wasn't really paying any attention to, uh, wasn't planning on using it to make anything, but uh, got to where I needed this pulley. So turned a muffin like this into a pulley like this, which is gonna do the job perfectly. Well, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.